Welcome back to the Nortex Mining YouTube channel. Uh, today I've got a quick video for you guys on uh, cable loss. Uh, why this is important is because when POC version 11 uh, took effect, I believe it was in November, uh, there's a little bit of nuance here. Your asserted antenna gain is going to matter. Whenever, In other words, whatever you put into the Helium app for your antenna gain it gets taken into account as part of the calculation uh, when you are beaconing. Uh, so I don't want to get too into the weeds of this. Uh, this can get uh, sort of complicated, especially if you're new. Um, but basically, the recommendation is to use just whatever antenna value you have, unless you have extensive experience with antennas and signal loss calculation, which Turns out I do. Um, this is very similar to working with radars and um, basically everything that's in the RF path between the transmitter and the antenna is going to introduce some sort of signal loss for you. So here's what I've got. Uh, I use this Times Microwave tool, which I will have a link to in the description. Uh, but basically, this tool is super handy. It, you know, you can put in whatever frequency you're at, uh, the run length, and they have all kinds of different cables. Um, so, like, let's say instead of the LMR 400, you had uh, 240, uh, and you had 10 feet of that. Uh, that's only about 0.9 dB. Some of these other uh, cables that uh, come as part of um, uh, the magnetized uh, base uh, might be using these thinner, like 200 cables. So uh, that's about a 1.2 dB for 10 feet, um, which I think Rockland has. Yeah, see, like this alpha, this is 10 feet of LMR 200 with the magnetic base. You get a little bit of the benefit of a ground plane with the magnet, but this 10 feet of cable is right around 1.2 dB loss here. So um, definitely something to be aware of. Maybe it's not that much of a concern, but if you're watching this video, you're probably wanting to fine tune things and preserve as much signal as you can. So uh, what I've tried to do is to stay between 10 and 16 feet on this LMR 400. So 10 feet is only 0.5 dB loss. Uh, 16 feet is 0.7 dB loss. Um, so that's for the LMR cables uh, or anything that's kind of in between the miner and the antenna. Um, the other thing that's also probably going to be between your miner and your antenna is a lightning arrestor. Um, so where do you get values for that? Well, you look to the specs. Um, here, IoT Off-Grid has their insertion loss as 0.2 dB. Um, this Rockland uh, lightning arrestor also has an insertion loss of 0.2 dB. Up here, they do say when calculating dB loss, you may enter 0.5. So... I think that's a little bit confusing. Definitely uh, might want to reach out to them to see why they have uh, conflicting values here. I'll probably do that in the future and, and update you guys in the comments. But um, I typically use 0.2 dB for my lightning arresters. Um, so I've got a 0.7 and a 0.2. I would probably, um, you know, subtract that from the antenna gain that uh, that your antenna comes with so um, let's say for example uh, you had uh, this 6 dBi antenna so you would take the 6 dBi subtract out the 0.2 and then if you had it on a 16 foot cable you would subtract out the 0.7 and so in your helium app you would put uh, 5.1 for example um, so yeah, so that's basically what I've done when calculating my cable loss. Again, everything that's in between your radio and your antenna 
is going to introduce some sort of loss. So I'll have I'll have this linked up in the description below. Make sure you check the specifications for your lightning arrestor and subtract accordingly. And yeah, that way you can minimize your invalid witnesses. You don't really want to get uh, any invalid witnesses. So again, this is how you can potentially make sure your earnings are top-notch and not being affected. If you're not being affected right now, this might be unnecessary, but uh, in the future um, and when you're adding new hotspots, you're not sure what number to put in the antenna gain. This is kind of what I do. Um, not financial advice. Uh, I'm not um, an expert on this uh, by any means, but, but I do have uh, what they recommend here. So that's kind of what I'm doing. If you have a better way of doing it, let me know in the comments below. And thanks guys so much for watching. Go ahead and hit the subscribe, hit the like button if you like uh, my helium content. Uh, there's plenty more coming up. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.